That's a hundred. I don't even think we have. That's a 20 incher. Hey guys, welcome back to the Abby Dumbass Fishing YouTube channel. And today, you may be able to realize I am not at my house. I am down at the shore for my yearly vacation. And what this video is going to be about, as you've probably read in the title, is I'm going to go out on my kayak with my dad and do some flounder fishing in the back base. Um, the baits that we're going to, we're going to get a bucket of minnows because minnows never seems to fail for us. And then we're going to be jigging some bucktails with gold. Um, basically, the rig I'm going to be using is, uh, for me, it's just going to be a small half ounce bucktail up to a teaser fly. I'm going to be uh, tipping them with some gulp. And then the teaser hook probably will just have a minnow on it. And then the, the bucktail will have a gulp on it. So the uh, other rig that my dad's going to be using, because he likes, he likes live bait, so minnows are always his favorite so he's going to be going with a fluke rig probably with about a two ounce one ounce lead and a live minnow on there that's what we usually use and i'll probably end up switching over to a fluke rig if i can't get a bite on the bucktails i'll see you guys when we get to fishing hey guys finally getting out got a bucket of minnows and uh, hopefully it's a great day for flounder fishing winds are about six to ten miles an hour and we're planning that week we're gonna be able to kill some flounder today hopefully a couple over 18 inches that'd be the goal and if that happens that'd be a great day so I hope you guys enjoy and see you when we get a fish Oh, there's one. Ooh, Ooh monster flounder. That's, uh, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's bait. <laughs> yeah, we'll throw that down for, for a big one. I was going to say, your, that pole's pretty uh, flexible, and it wasn't bending at all. Look at that little guy. What? Took my bait, though. Yeah. yeah, that's where we want to be, right in that deep channel. Oh, there's one. That uh, yeah. He hasn't made a big run yet, but he feels heavy. Get the net ready. He's not a keeper. You don't think? We can measure. Actually, he's bigger than a... Dude, look how fat that thing is. Yeah. Here, hold on. Looks a little short. You have the measure back there? Right? Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely short. He's a fatty, though. He's fat, man. Holy smokes. <laughs> yeah. But that's not like a practice that either. It's like a just like a well fed fish. Alright, dude. I hate to see you go later, man. Could you got me any weather weather on that? I didn't fish did. The only thing I'm getting is bitten by horse flies. Haven't had one flounder in the boat. Thank God my dad's catching them, because I'm not doing that. Oh, well, speaking of my dad catching them, little one. He got another flatty. Got my minnow on like that. I'm going to drop down. My dad has two already. I have not really gotten much in the water, so going down now. I'm going to start fishing. 13 incher. Two already, dude? You're on fire. 
See when we can pick up one of these fish, guys. Just the, the, basically how we're working it, just up and down. Both my bites were on the lift. You said both your bites were on the left? My dad said both of the bites he got were on the lift up, so. So, what I'm doing is lifting, dropping, letting the sinker hit bottom and make a puff of sand, which hopefully will attract any predatory fish near it. <clears throat> Preferably a flounder. Oh. Did you get a bite? Mm-hmm. Get back down there, tell them I'm coming. <laughs> was it really a little bite? It was. Yeah. I thought I had a couple of small bites, but this is not that big. This is right where I was gonna catch the big one too. What? Missed them. What? Just missed them. Oh, we're deep now again. Yeah, this is where I want to be. Definitely don't want to be out there. That's what? definitely shallower than here. Ah, I got you that tiny little bug. Feels like a good one. Yeah, he's definitely fighting good. Get down, get that net down. Lower. Down. Yes! That's a keeper. That's a hundred. I don't even think we have. That's a 20 incher. I'll measure them just in case. Oh, guys, my dad's wearing a keeper. Where's the tape? Oh, it's up here. Oh, oh dude, dude. Dude, you can't do that. I'm oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Is your, is your rod in? Yeah. It's 15. Yeah, he's like 19. We'll measure them for good, but... Guys, here's that fish. <laughs> Show you how big he is. It's the one. 20 inches. Keeper. So, it's the first keeper flounder of the day. You can see we're just stretching our legs over the, the beautiful bay and we're gonna get back out there soon. Nice fish though. Yeah, now we're in a good drift. I got one. There we go. Oh, you saw that? Dude, my whole pole bent over. Missed him. That was a vicious hit too. Guys, I got that one when I was pulling up. I got one. That's on. Fish? Oh, that's big. Very dark. Nice fish. I think I got another little one. It's got me pretty soon. This rig is just so big. Get him? That's a fish that's big. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big fish, all right, dude. Yeah, yeah. It was heavy. It was really heavy. Oh, I missed the crabs. Let's go. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, we keep, we're drifting in faster now. Is that a blue crab? Yeah. He doesn't feel like a keeper. Nope. 14 inches? I think they're loaded with that size. Huh? I have to be. <laughs> <laughs> you 
caught half a clam, you catch another half, you have a snack. Yep. All right, folks, this is right around where we got the hits the last time. Don's gonna try to get his first one in the boat. In the boat. No. Only took three hours. Let's see if Don can get the release. Woo, he's sweating. Did you see him skim across the top? Bigger. Hey guys, so I hope you guys just enjoyed the video you just watched. Um, I know most of it was my dad and uh, that always seems to be the key when we go out flounder fishing. He always outfishes me somehow. But I hope you still learned something. Hope you guys enjoyed. So, see you guys next time. Peace.